Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you the color grading of this type of photo and let's start the tutorial. If you're new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. At first, press Ctrl or Command J for the new copy of this layer. I'm going to the file and then going to the camera filter. This one is similar to the Lightroom. You can get all the stuffs are same, all the panels are same as the Lightroom. So you will be learn from here if you learn this technique you can apply this technique to your lightroom as well here the temperature i'll make it a little bit cool yeah that's fine and the tint a little bit up that is plus three exposure a little bit down and contrast up highlight a little bit down and the shadow i'll add some shadows this type of shadow not too much yeah and whites a little bit up and blacks a little bit down here the texture i won't uh, get the texture like this uh, the dehaze i'll make it a little bit dehaze and the vibrance i'll make it a little bit down and the saturation a little bit up that's fine going to the color mixture options from here red hue which color will be defined with the hue saturation defines with the percentage of the color and luminance defines the l intensity or the luminosity of the color from here uh, you are getting the hue if i get the red hue like this you can get the red color like this the hair color and the saturation a little bit up and the luminance a little bit up that's fine from here the orange luminance i'll increase and saturation a little bit down and the green i'll make it a little bit down that's fine the magenta a little bit up here uh, the basic color from here warm i'll increase the warm okay that's good and the calibration from here you can change the calibration color the blue primary and here is the green primary color it will affect in your photographs and the red primary so now time to go for the color grading color grading is that things which color will be in the shadow which color will be in the mid tone and the highlight tone which color will be it three things defines with the color grading so in the shadow portion you are getting the color belt which is the hue and here the saturation the which is the percentage you can change the hue and you are getting the color from here for the shadow and the mid tones i'll make it a little bit warm type you know that's fine and from here a little bit this type of color so that's good and going to the detail option i'll change or reduce the noise and the color noise okay that's fine let's see the before one and after one you're getting the changes like that and hit okay so you're getting the technique like that here i just got the uh, eye changes a little bit and the color is uh, shiny now going to the file and place embedded here the color overlay so i'll change the color overlay rotate this one and making it here press ctrl or command t just adjust with the like a uh, face actually the artboard and making it to screen mode so after that i'll make it a little bit upper side and now right press and resell as the layer going to the filter and uh, here going to the blur options from here the gaussian blur and hit okay and now going to the levels options from here and change the level like this that's good and select all the things that means the layer one and the here the pixels like this the overlay and right press and going to convert to smart object now i'll go to the filter again and going to the neat collection and color fix pro 4 this one is another plugins for the photoshop you can use this one for the bunch of presets and the filters and after that here i am using the cross processing and here is sub methods which one is perfect for your tone you can apply that tone in your photography this one is good for me and hit okay it will taking time to load and providing you the final output so before and after now i'm going to the filter and camera filter and from here i'm making it a little bit cool tone 
and highlight a little bit down and here dehaze I'll add some dehaze and from here the curves options you can use the so from that and hit okay so let's see the before one and after one you are getting the huge change and really cool and from here uh, here is the photo filter you can use another photo filter which is like this so you can change the photo filters which one you want to apply and hit ok so you're getting the changes like that hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share it with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and in the next video i'm asmr signing out stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers bye bye